We are live with Lieutenant Colonel Dave Thomas of SpecialForces.com, and today we're just going to go over briefly, really short video on uh, radiation and radiation exposure, and you know what to do, maybe to prevent it, um, or to at least have something in your system that will help you uh, if you are exposed to radiation. Being that there are some scares uh, going on uh, with the radiation that was found off of the coast of San Francisco. Uh, so, Dave, I'm going to turn it over to you and see what you have to say. I know you know a little bit about the potassium iodide um, that people can at least use for their system. I think first we'll just start out with what is uh, potassium iodide. And uh, I'm going to kind of read off the sheet because this is uh, not my area of expertise. But uh, potassium iodide is a salt of stable, not radioactive iodine that can help block radiation iodine from being absorbed by the thyroid gland, thus protecting this gland from radiation uh, injury. Um, basically, we're offering it on our website now. Um, it's something uh, recommended by the uh, C uh, CDC, the uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention. And uh, basically what it does is it, it uh, kind of blocks the thyroid. It protects the thyroid from radiation. Um, it, uh, it may not be given, giving a person 100% protection against radioactive iodine, um, but protection will increase depending on three factors. And these are the three factors. Time after the contamination, the sooner a person takes a dosage, the more time the thyroid will have to fill up with stable iodine. Absorption, the amount of stable iodine that gets into the thyroid depends on how fast the KI is absorbed into the blood. And the third, dose of radioactive iodine, minimizing the total amount of radioactive iodine a person is exposed to will lower the amount of harmful radioactive iodine the thyroid can absorb. So basically what this drug's doing is, is you're loading up your thyroid to prevent uh, contaminated radioactive iodine to get into your thyroid. And it seems like this would probably be, if, if people are concerned about it, maybe to order some of this now just to get it in their system, if they are concerned about it, I would say. I mean, I, I, I don't know too much about what has been found off of the coast of San Francisco, but I know that if people are a little worried about it, um, at least this will help, um, and the CDC even confirms that uh, this will help in, in defending it or aiding against it. A uh, person can, you know, look at the, uh, the, you know, they always list the side effects on the, on the bottle, and uh, they look pretty minimal compared to most uh, drugs. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much of a downside, so it seems like it's a pretty safe preventative measure that can be taken at this point. Um, but without causing any harm, from what I can tell, from what I've read. All right, perfect. And like I said, this is just going to be a short video just to introduce this to people that if they were concerned about what was going on off of the coast of San Francisco and, and the radio, or the radiation that was found. Um, we are going to be doing some more videos here soon, but I just want to close this one down and say thank you to everybody listening, and thank you, Dave, for your time, and um, we will see you guys later. Okay, thank you.